Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Kim, Nick, and George. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Kim. Hello, I'm going to be playing a Yumi information deck, uh, and I'm going to have a lot of fun looking at all of my opponent's hands and seeing what they're up to. I really, really love the addition and the dynamic of uh, getting information and how that affects the political landscape. This is perfect. I love it. Next up, we have Nick. Yeah, today I'm going to be folding to the previous strategy because my Mufori is trying to be all tricksy with Blue himself, uh, where typically, you know, he puts out that uh, quarry of his that's generally untouchable. I'm going to try to get around that with some, uh, some of Blue's and Green's. A manipulation of that. But uh, yeah, I hope I'm not messed up by holding cards in my hand. <laughs> yeah, Mufari took a game last week or two weeks ago with um, speedy attacks. Let's see if he can take it with some trickery this time. Next up, we have George. Welcome everyone to the Poison Katana. I, I called it the Poison Katana because it is a Kazen focused deck. At the first time of its unveiling, I didn't really remember why. But it's because of uh, a blue and purple blend. Uh, it's taking poison and coating it in a blade. So it's supposed to do quick successive slashes, but do dot or damage over time kind of effects. So uh, the worse things get for you, the longer things go on with my deck. Oh, OK. So like a late game kind of Kazen versus the, the really early game aggro style. That's very cool, George. All right, and today I'll be playing Ava and Wavering Optimist. This deck has a bit of an item sub-theme. I'll be trying to fetch out valuable items or just draw into them naturally. Let's see if Ava can leverage the power of items to achieve victory today. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Okay, so I'm up first. Yes, you are. One gold. Let us put Statue of the Wise Teacher on the field. Let's do our free draw. I play history of education. I pass my turn. All right, awesome. Begin my turn, getting my one gold. I'll start the turn off by playing an item. Whoa. Uh, restraining order for one gold. I'll go ahead and use my free draw. And I think that's it. I'll just pass a turn like that. Uh, I'll start my turn by gaining my gold. And I'm going to play a hidden waterfall and then take my free draw. Then I guess I'm going to put a counter on Hidden Waterfall. Pass my turn. All right. I'm going to throw down an item of my own. Cool. After I gain my gold, spend it, and take a free draw. And uh, look to the future for a better hand. Pass. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh, wow. Turn one Black Mora powder. Uh, OK. So I'm on my turn two, two gold. We are on phase one of history education, so I am going to draw one card for my free draw right now. So I will play Chromatic Ring. Oh, nice. Down to one gold. I activate history education to draw a card. I will play Mauricio the Gloomy Poet. Ooh, nice. One gold. Must be nice to be aligned to everything. Sometimes. I pass my turn to you, my friend. Uh, okay, so... I'll play my location, and then I'll go ahead and use my free draw. And then I will play another location using its arrival ability, taking a look at the top card. Um, that's a pretty good card, but I don't really want it right now. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and abandon this, draw you another card. And then let's keep the location train going. I play Hidden Flower Patch. Nothing too scary on the board yet, so I think I'll just take another setup turn, as it were. I'll play Greedy Merchant for one gold. And then for another gold, I'll go ahead and put a search counter on the Hidden Flower Patch. And unfortunately, my Grand Theater doesn't get to use its arrival for any effect. Well, you know what? I'm going to activate its arrival anyways, and I will draw zero cards because I don't control two purple aligned denizens. But I did activate it. Let the record show. Let the record show. All right. I'll start my turn by getting my gold. And immediately, I'm going to use preventive measures. Whoa! <laughs> All right. I'm going to remove Skilled Huntress from uh, uh, Nick's deck. George, I'm going to take... 
And that I'm going to remove Ava, Unwavering Optimist. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 Poison. Combo. And for Albin, yeah, I'm going to take Supportive Friends. Oh, that's a good one. And then Preventative Measures goes off. I will uh, you, you draw a card. Yeah. I'll use my second uh, gold uh, to activate Hidden Waterfall. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll gain two gold. Play a Chromatic Ring for one gold. Oh, of course. Take my free draw for the turn, now that I have an open hand. I hope you I'll don't play, have another... Uh, I'll play a Greedy measure. Merchant. Oh, of course! Ah, uh, okay, you got oh. one too. Yeah, pass my turn. Uh, I'm going to use my free draw for the turn to look at the top card of my deck. Ah. Uh, and we will do a hand reset. 100. Hand reset. So, awesome. No, really? Bottom, bottom seven cards, shuffle, draw seven. Yeah, put all cards in your hand at the bottom, draw seven, and then shuffle. Yeah. Wow, card crash. Wow. All right, so turn since I can't take any more turn actions, we'll pass. Oh, boy. All right. So I am at three gold. We are at phase two of history of education. Free draw. Oh, I play Kalnea, City ah, of Light. Love it. I get to draw a card. I get to draw a card too. As do I. I. Everybody enjoy that. Oh, okay. I feel like it's abandoned. actually not bad. Because guess what? Crowded stadium. So I'm gonna abandon Kalnea, City of Light, for another draw. And I believe you still have this, right? Yes, I do. I now play Desire to Live. Oh. And now Mauricio cannot die. The immortal poet. The immortal poet. We're going to have to obstructive roadblock. Oh. I'm sorry, Al. That hidden flower patch looks like it would be important for you. So we can't have that now, can we? It was. It was going to be some sweet plays I was going to use, but uh, I'm going to have to change my plans now. History of Education allows me to draw another card. Oh, cool, sick. A Statue of the Wise Teacher again, but this time I can actually give Mauricio the zero two. I pass my turn. Uh, all right, get my goal for turn. I'll use my free draw. So I'm gonna sell my restraining order. Sell, sell, sell. Bye, bye, giving bye. Giving myself two gold, uh, the one from the natural sell and then the one from the greedy merchant. So I have five oh. gold. Bye, bye, bye. I'll use one of that gold to dishearten your Mauricio. Oh. He's not going to leave because he's got the desire to live. Mm. But I'm sure our experienced viewers will know what's coming next. But I'm going to play Alluring Seductress. <laughs> oh, no! To take your Mauricio. All right. Come on! And then uh, there's not that much power in the board, so I think I can get a little spicy with my abandon. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, abandon this to draw a card. Do I want to get an attack as well? I mean, you've got this and this. I know you do have purple alignment. Hostile punishers are out there. And you abandoned your Kalnea ah, too, so... You know what? I'm going to so go ahead and have my Greedy Merchant punch your Chromatic Ring. Oh! Are you serious? Yeah, so that'll that'll leave it open to Kim if Kim so chooses. But, uh, oh, yeah. I think man. that's fair. Uh, yeah. Alright, so yeah, I'll pass my turn, losing my gold. Nice. I'm going to gain my gold. And I'm going to play... Termination notice for two, and then I'm going to sell it for three with my greedy merchant. <laughs> Brilliant. And then I'm going to play Keen Infiltrators. No! Looking at everybody's yeah. hand and taking one card from it. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to remove Nick's Master of Poison. Ooh. I'm going to remove Demoralize from George's hand. Beautiful. Of course you are. None of that. And... Thing. Oh, that's where that other supportive friends was. Oh, uh, uh, along with you. Oh boy! We're not getting that. No friends this game, huh? Brutal. Not at all. Then I'm going to do the obvious greedy merchant attack. Of course. Of course. Wow. And that is all the gold that I have. I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Gain my gold for the turn. I'll take nice a free stuff, draw. Kim. I knew it was there. Play a hidden thicket. Cool. Doesn't align me the proper way, so we'll pay three gold for a history education of my own. Nice. Uh, we'll get rolling pretty soon. And then uh, we'll just pass the turn. All right, my turn. 
Turn four. In case the viewer is wondering at home, Nick paid three to play history education because he is not aligned to blue. So mm -hmm. I will take my free draw, and I will take my other draw for history education and conclude that in an active zone. Okay. My statue of the wise teacher that got nobody extra points. Let's abandon that for another draw. So I summon Kazin. Mm. You should go for the unclaimed hidden flower badge. That's just rude, Cam. <laughs> Cam's trying to throw you off the scent from noticing the only person with an item ah. and a merchant in play. <laughs> Uh, ah, keen mean? as always, <laughs> Nick. Keen as always. I what actually agree. This would be the best um, attack here. I will attack Alvin's Greedy Merchant. Uh, all right. Bye-bye, Greedy Merchant. I activate his aggression and score myself one point. Very nice. On the board. And I believe that's everything I can do with this turn, and I pass. Looks like Kim gets to keep the Chromatic Ring after all. Gain four gold for my turn. I will use my free draw right away. Boy, where are my items? Uh, we will take this turn to put in a couple of campaigns. Firstly, remove distractions. Hopefully, draw me into some items. And then, refuse defeat. Uh, oh, what a card. Yeah, what a card indeed. Uh, not ideal though, my situation. Pass turn. Great. Uh, I'm going to start by gaining my gold, drawing my free card for the turn. Okay. This is actually a difficult uh, play. Okay, I got it. I'm going to pay one to play a Black Mora and then sell it. Ah, uh, okay. Going up to five gold. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play... Clever imitation for cool. four. So we got more hand discarders on the way. Shush, 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 shush. <laughs> they don't need to know that. They don't need to know that. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to finally use my last gold to play Erase Memories. Oh. The Denizen loses all abilities. Yep. I wonder who that's for. It's for Kazen. Really? Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Then I'm going to have my keen infiltrators uh, attack your Alluring Seductress. Yep. There she goes. Uh, and that'll be my turn. All right. So for me, gain a gold and my phase counter. Start with a free draw nice. and a history education draw. Seen a, we've seen a couple cards come and go. And uh, boy, how safe to play my champion out. Ah, Perhaps. Yes. We'll search on the hidden thicket. Or potential future power turns and yes. So George, he may not have any abilities, but he does still have two power. Yeah, I I think yeah I think Kazen <laughs> should attack the chromatic ring on Kim's side of the field. Yeah. Look, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, I think it would be better to attack oh. into the uh, infiltrator. So that's not the the co the token we get next turn. Oh, oh. man, you're on fire that's today. Like Nick. You got, uh, you're you're seeing everything. You're seeing the matrix today. Uh, they didn't take I'm my advice always... last time, so. What's the chance he takes it this time? Oh, I, I gotta play something. I summon my Astute Scholar for three gold. Uh, I also play my Black Mora Powder. I activate my Astute Scholar's Arrival uh, to draw two cards. Be nice. It is nice. Because I can now play my Chromatic Ring. And I can still free draw. Okay. Nice. Well, I but mean, now you almost have, have to take Nick's advice and get rid of this. Because that, that or, would almost guarantee your ring survives this time. Yeah. George, I won't, uh, if you do oh. let my gain infiltrators live, I can use it on Nick and Alvin, but it says up to uh, one right. card, so I can just not look at, I can not um, uh, you have to look at his remove hand. a card from your You hand. have to look at his hand, but you do yeah. not have to remove anything from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If okay. I leave your chromatic ring... No, if you, you can deal, you can do whatever to my chromatic ring. What I'm saying is, if you leave my keen infiltrators alive, I will use it only on Nick and Elvin and not on you. Brutal. 
Okay, least. that's fine. Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's a fair deal. Then I take your chromatic ring as an exchange. Fair you're, enough. Are you, you're attacking my chromatic ring? With yes. Hazen, yeah. All right. That's a very good political so, play, Kim. Props. So I, I pass my turn. All right. Uh, get my gold for turn. Uh, get my phase counters. Take my free draw. And then I will activate remove distractions to draw two cards and have to discard a card. We will choose thusly. All right. And then what I will do is play change of heart for five gold. Ooh. And I would like to take... Your keen infiltrators, please and thank you. Damn. Oh, wow. Whoa. Um, all right, okay. and then I'll go ahead and use the refuse defeat ability on my keen infiltrators. No. Ah. So Bro. it looks like you will not be discarded today, Nick. I think that's probably good enough for a turn. Let's go ahead and pass like that. All right. I'm going to gain my gold and my face counters, and then I'm going to take my free draw for the turn. Uh, I'm going to pay three to drive insane. Oh, oh, oh right. no. The discard anyway. Oh, could have been worse. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my master craftsman. I wanted to get some items into play. Brutal. Play, I'm going to play Blacklist. Oh! <laughs> this is so awesome, Kim. I'm going oh. to blacklist. Let's go with supportive friends. Oh, <laughs> interesting. I don't even have any supportive friends, but yeah, okay. Uh, George has one supportive friend. I see. And uh, I'm going to clever imitate the greedy merchant, seeing as it's my only target. Uh, and I will just pass at that. All right, I'll take note that I will not play any supportive friends either. <laughs> Gain gold for the turn and a phase counter, and start with a free draw, and a draw from history education. Nice. And wouldn't you finally know it? Beautiful. Got some blue alignment into play. It's just a relief to have it online, you know? <laughs> yes. I know the vibes. All right. I will have Mufari activate and create a Mufari's quarry token. Uh, why don't you create one, Kim? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> for all the disruption... You should enjoy the quarry's presence for a very brief moment. Oh, cool. Um, there we go. So then I'm going to spend one gold. To have Black Mora Powder uh, use its ability to make the quarry lose all abilities. And we are going Quick to score. pay two for an invasive fungus. Oh. can now weaken Mufari's quarry. <gasps> oh, this is so cool. I Mufari, am loving this. In its weakened state, will strike. Mm. Mufari is down. so tricky. Nice. He's using... Fungus to help him now. Oh. Yeah, he's 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 tried it with the the vicious wildlife animals. He's like, you know what? We're gonna be taking a more subtle approach. This is so mm -hmm. cool. Once uh, Mufari is satisfied with his hunt, I gain five points. Beautiful. Nice. And is there a good use for this last gold? There. I could play a card from my hand before it gets discarded. So yeah, maybe that's maybe that's <laughs> prudent. So we'll go up a gold with this. Uh, I was thinking this was maybe for later, but we'll play a reuse tactics campaign. Ooh, and, uh, this is perfect against a prepared. discard strategy. Yeah, man. And we will pass up to George. Beautiful turn. Oh boy. So I have six gold because we're on turn six. Mm -hmm. uh, draw. Okay. So I'm going to play an alluring seductress uh, arrival take a denzine with less than its starting health you know who should come back home my mauricio <laughs> oh. hand him back over all right you can have hand him back. Him. oh and that's up for a really cool turn been to seduce twice he's he's kind of a hot character right now i mean <laughs> poetry right yeah ladies love it i'm going to play demoralize hmm you had another one eh always keep spares Besides, we all know what's blacklisted right now, so. That's a very removable item, by the way. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> yeah, you probably but... want things to die, so you need to attack denizens. Yeah. Hazen should, yes, attack. Uh, where's the fun in that, George? Mufari, beast hunter. Mufari will range him down like nothing was ever there. That's right. Absolutely devastated. Not so devastated, because that's some points right there. Yum, yum, yum. Mauricio's very sad yeah. about this. And he scores two points because it left play. That's right. 
finds his way home only to see his, his best buddy Kazen just peace out. So cool. He's so cool. Mauricio is such a cool character. Pass my turn. All right. Get my gold right. return. Get my Faz counters. Uh, I will go ahead and use my free draw first before doing this to get the maximum value. So there's the free draw. And then now I'm going to activate remove distractions to draw two cards and choose a card to discard. I think it's time for this card to go away. All right, so Demoralize actually doesn't hurt me that much. Not you, now. But Erase Memories does. So, Nick, I'm actually going to make a deal with you. Um, yeah. So if I get rid of this, does this mean anything to you? Like, can I can I buy a favor? Uh, I can promise you that that Erase Memories will not target your denizens. Hey, all right, that's all I want. Because Erase Memories is the bane of Desire to Live. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do Nick a favor and hope that it'll buy me freedom from that Erase Memories that he's likely going to pull. So I'm going to pay two to play this and then immediately activate it to banish your Demoralize. Because we're done with that, Awesome. George. That's extra flavorful for our Optimist. Uh, all right, so we're going to go ahead and play Ava, the Unwavering Optimist. So let's go ahead and play a location. I play Decorated Path. I activate its arrival to look at the top card. Ooh, nice. I am going to keep that. Uh, all right, and then I'm going to go ahead and have uh, Refuse Defeat, go on to Ava, completing that campaign. Yeah, okay, so there's a decent amount of power on board now, so I think I maybe don't want to get too greedy. Just kidding, full greed, abandon, draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. Uh, <laughs> the Keen Infiltrators, as much as I'm blinded by rage, I'm not so blind as to see that if a third one of these come out, it's going to be really annoying for us because that's 11 gold, right? No, no, three, yeah, two, three, five, six. Yeah, that's 11 gold. And that's just too much gold. So I'm going to take out one of them. I'm going to take out the non-hostile no. one. So Kingdom of Traders no. is going to attack this. Taking Uno All right, we'll go to my inactive. And then I will go ahead and end my turn. Ava is going to inspire this currently despondent individual. Tell him that, hey, you know what? You may have changed hands a few times. You may have seen things you can't unsee, but there's always a brighter tomorrow. Score myself four points. Pass it over to you, Ken. All right. Uh, I'm going to start by getting my gold, putting my counters on my things, and drawing my free card for the turn. I'm going to pay two, three, four for a supportive friend. Ah, uh, you have to oh, pay nice. the alignment tax. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh, which I'm Is going it, to are, copy. Aren't, aren't they blacklisted? Uh, so only for us, only for us. So Kim, ah. Kim can still play them. <laughs> okay. What a card. Yep. You know, like if, if you're the one who writes the blacklist, right? You can easily find loopholes in your own this yeah, is true. rules. This is what clearly right. what's happening here. Yes. Yes. Then I'm going to sell my blacklist. Ah, there you go. Uh, to gain one, two, three gold. Wow. All right, then George, I'm your supportive to, friends are free to play now. I'm going to pay four to play a remove distractions. Wow, all the alignment attacks. Uh, I'll go <laughs> ahead and I'll best the turn. Let's see what tricks me far I can pull up this turn with his gold and his phase counter and his free draw. Oh, I have two two uh, two campaigns. I forgot about that. Uh, all right, we'll take the final draw from history education. Then it's completed. So for my yeah for this turn we will do a. Activation from Mufari. And Alvin, I'll, I'll let you enjoy the company of our quarry. Wonderful. For a moment. For but right. a moment. Right. One more gold. That Mufari's quarry will become ferocious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So oh, he's going to become this one. a 4 7 and with no right. abilities. Yes. No abilities, which is the perfect time for Mufari to use his tactical advantage. And displace it. Oh, Whoa. baby! Whoa. All right. So Whoa, geez, dismiss <clears throat> I put it back okay. into my hand and then remove it from play. So I will score five points from that. This is so cool. And then reuse tactics to put a tactic card, which will be displace back into my hand. All right. All right. Heck yeah. Uh, then I'll abandon the hidden thicket. You take an abandon draw. Play another hidden thicket and search on that one. Wow. Final gold. All right, trying to be efficient here. Uh, Mufari didn't have to make an attack that turn, so let's get in there. But an attack does nothing versus Alvin. Even if I make an attack to your hidden flower patch, George can't finish it off. But George can. 
All right. We'll, we'll maybe incentivize well, that. Kim, I will Kim's, make Mufari okay. come into an attack on the Hidden Flower right, Edge. Fair. George may want to take care of that, but maybe not. It's George's turn as of right now, because I pass. Okay, so it's my turn. So we're at seven gold. I get one free draw. Let's do it now. Um, good thing I have the Astute Scholar play. All right, fair enough. So I'm going to draw two more cards. When I doubt, draw cards. <laughs> hmm. History of Education for one gold. When in doubt, draw cards. I'm going to play a Refuse Defeat as well, and I'm going to play Slave Cells. Oh, okay. And and I'm going to have my Astute Scholar and my Alluring Seductress do damage to said Slave Cells. Nice. Each. Safe attacks there. Yep. Does that make them hostile still? Nope. It does no. not make them hostile oh. because you're attacking something that you control. Nice. Okay. Uh, I will put my last piece of gold on my crowded stadium. That is everything. I pass my turn. Grab my goal for turn. Grab my phase counter. I will take my free draw, and then I will activate Remove Distractions for the final time, drawing two cards and having to discard one. This time, we will discard this card. I think we're done with that. Uh, and then that completes this campaign. Okay. So let's see here. Kim is in an unfortunate situation with this. Uh, George can score... Oh, wait. Mauricio and Kazin with this board is just not okay. So let's 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 do something about that, shall we? Uh, first, I'm going to play and use Intelligent Report because I would like to see what's in everyone's hand. Oh, Restore Memories. I'm surprised you have that in your hand. I had no idea. <laughs> Nick. Wait. Hold on. What's Kim's Spoilers. hand? <laughs> Me. What I will I cannot... divulge about Nick's hand is that he does have shenanigans one more time. He does have the Black Moor Powder and Displace on deck. So for five gold, right. he can score another five points, which is very scary. Uh, George, let's see. Okay, your hand is pretty scary as well. I will divulge. You know the friend, or at least I think I do. Yeah, he is. He has mm -hmm. a supportive friends. Friend's that that much there. you guys already knew about, I will. Save the rest for my knowledge. Uh, go ahead and draw a card and that will be removed. All right, so now that I know what's uh, about to happen, this actually does change a little bit of my plays. He scores that goes up to 11. Okay, so I do need to do something about George still, which I do, which I will. Um, okay, so, but this is going to attack into Mufari. So Mufari will deal his three damage first. He will survive because he's refusing defeat and then he'll deal three damage to Mufari, finishing him off. Mm -hmm. All right, so at least tax Nick for three gold. Uh, and then we're going to play the Obnoxious Name Caller. No! Yep. Uh, and then we're going to drop this location, the Grand Theater. I'll go ahead and activate its arrival to draw a card. Okay. So, so I mean, this is just too good not to do. So I'm going to play Alluring Seductress. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and guess who's coming back over to Calvin Town? Goodness. Aww. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I gotta tell ya. Yep. All right. And then Obnoxious Name Caller's inspiration is now unlocked. So I am now going to call this Alluring Seductress names. Uh, <laughs> and it's going to dishearten her and make her leave. You yes. absolutely must draw the fourth Alluring Seductress. <laughs> I, I, it and has it must, to happen. It must target Mauricio. It has to this happen. Is, gotta what? take Mauricio back. This must happen. Uh, okay. And... Uh, I think, as the saying goes, one good obstructive roadblock deserves another. I'm going to spend one gold to obstructive roadblock your uh, Of course! Stadium. Okay, now you have to just stop doing things to me and <laughs> consider the following. Uh, okay, so now, I without your Mauricio, you're only going to score three points. So I think I've successfully neutered you because, yeah, your, your hand was going to... I mean, your turn is going to be insane. So now that your board looks like this, I'm significantly less scared. Um, all right, so I think that was a pretty good turn. Do I want to get? Yeah, I think at this point I shouldn't get too greedy anymore. Just kidding. Full greed. Abandon. Draw a card. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will end my turn and score four points. Remember, people watching at home, full greed never punished. That's right. Full Serious. greed never punished. All right, I'm going to start my turn by getting my gold and putting a counter on my remove distractions. Beautiful. And I'll take my free draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. Then I will use my remove distractions draw to draw two. All right. And then I'll discard one of those. 
See, Kim was the real problem for me because there are two supportive friends over there already. Mm, we'll see. I'm we'll going see. to play Hidden Flower Badge. Ah, oh, wow. I'm going to play my champion for three. Oh, here we go. All right. Two, I'm going three. to play a Restraining Order oh. for one. Okay. I'm going to play a Restore Memories on my Yumi. Nice. She'll remember the ability she already had. Yep. One, two, three. Then I'm going to activate both of my supportive friends. Uh, and then I'm going to activate Yumi's Inspiration. Four different card types, plus two from supportive friends, plus two from supportive friends. So I'm going to gain eight points. And then I'm going to produce an artwork token. Then I'm going to uh, uh, sell my artwork immediately to gain three gold. Uh, I'm going to use one of it on Restraining Order mm -hmm. to banish Keen Infiltrators. Yep. Uh, I'm going to use one of it to put a counter on Hidden Flower Patch, and uh, honestly, I think that'll be my turn. One of the best Yumi turns I think you could ask for. So good. So right. good. So, seeing that, hopefully Mufari can squeeze up some more points, gain my gold, my phase counter, start with a free draw, uh, play Mufari for three. Mm -hmm. So, George, you, you find yourself a quarry. We're up. Yeah, yo. I will use uh, my reuse tactics will activate, and in my inactive zone is an erase memories. I'll put that in my hand. Yeah, so then we will use the thicket, one more search, and go up my gold, and cool. displace on Mauricio. Ah, uh, all right. And it's George's. Oh, again. that's still pretty good. Sad <laughs> times. Yeah. The last gold will be for history education, take myself out of this mess. We will. All that a turn. Be done. Okay. So yeah. Uh, uh, this gets it starts its phase. So I'm gonna use for one gold, uh, black mora powder on Mufari's quarry. So I'll put uh, black mora powder in an active zone. Obstructive roadblock. I will sell for a gold. Did its job. Oh right. I also have a history education draw. So I'm gonna use my history education draw. Uh, you haven't used your free draw yet, by the way. Oh, okay. Then I, I, I will. Also, I didn't use my free draw, so I will use my free draw. Let's summon Mauricio back into play. Let's give him refuse defeat. Yeah. I play cunning strategist, and I play supportive friends. I'm going to take the astute scholars, and I will put at least. Two more damage points into the slave cells. Okay. I will have Mufari's quarry attack the supportive friends. Okay. With this last gold, I activate supportive friends special ability. The next time an effect would score you points this turn, it scores you that many points plus two instead. And then we have cunning strategist with the dis with the dismissal. <sighs> Brutal. The quarry? Oh, there it goes. For Mufari's quarry, I dismiss right. you. So thankfully, through Mauricio and the support of friends, I get four points. I yeah. pass my turn. All right. I'll get eight gold. I will utilize my free draw now. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to play Intelligent Report, my second copy, and then I'm going to use it right now. Uh, Kim, may I look at your empty hand, please? Uh, yeah, by all means. All right, awesome. Thank you. Um, okay, Nick, I'll go ahead and take a look at your hand again. Okay. And then George, take a look one more time. Oh, interesting. Okay, and then I will draw a card off this. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and play Hidden Flower Patch, a location. And then I will go ahead and play Master Craftsman for three gold. And Master Craftsman's inspiration is now locked because I played him. The intelligence report and this location three cards so i'm going to go ahead and use this inspiration ability now to fetch an item card out of my deck okay so i'm going to fetch this into hand the restraining order and go ahead and shuffle so inspiration being unlocked means that i can use the obnoxious name caller uh, i'm going to go ahead and obnoxious name call your astute scholar mm -hmm. all right and then I will go ahead and Goodbye. abandon my Grand Theater to draw a card. 
yeah, I have to do this. It's not ideal, but I just really need to get some point scoring on. So I'm going to desire to live my obnoxious name caller. All D2L. Um, all right. So now obnoxious name caller is going to attack into. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to hit George again. Obnoxious name caller is going to attack <laughs> into your other SD caller. Um, all right. And then I'll use my last gold to put a search counter on hidden flower patch. Yeah, now I'll end my turn and the obnoxious name caller has less health than its starting health and it's still sticking around and hoping for the best in life. So four points for me. Pass it over to you, Kim. All right, great. I'm going to uh, start by getting my gold and putting a counter on remove distractions. Uh, I'm going to start by drawing a card. I'm going to play a decorated path to look at the top card. Put it on the bottom. Then I'm going to um, put a gold on hidden flower patch, going up to nine, and then abandoning it to draw a card. Nice. Then I'm going to draw two more cards from remove distractions ability. Very nice sequencing. Then I'm going to discard a card, which will be my greedy merchant. Then I'm going to play prevent measures for one. <sighs> Uh, early and the late game preventive measures. Absolutely. I'm going to remove Senior Tactician from Nick's deck. Oh! I'm going to remove... Uh, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove Dishearten because that's, I guess, the most immediate threat to me. Still and hurtful. That could have been helpful. I'll also yeah. remove Dishearten from... Alvin's deck. And then I'll draw my card and then put into inactive. Yeah, I'm gonna pay four to play Keen Infiltrators. Brutal. Oh no. So brutal. Look at each of your hands as well. You're joking. I'm going to remove Words of Wisdom from Nick's hand uh, for less oh. card selection. You know how it is. Sorry about that. I'm going to remove supportive okay. friends from George's hand. Right. Of course. No more supportive and friends. And from Alvin, I'll remove Scold. How about that? Curses. Then I'm going to pay two to play supportive friends. Then I'm going to use my <laughs> final two gold to pay for each of my supportive friends' abilities. Um, and then I'm going to activate Yumi's inspiration. I'm going to get seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. And then I'm going to pro produce an artwork token. Sell that. Token. Uh, I don't have any reason to sell it. I'm going to pass. All right. Kim did not right. want to score the extra three points there, I guess. Where did that come? What do you mean the extra three points? If you sold, if you attacked Yumi to something and then sold this with your thing, you could have gone three gold and replayed Yumi and then scored another three points. Yeah, could I, I? I didn't know that I could do that. Do yeah, you do you mind if I do that? Uh, yeah, sure. You go ahead. Uh, I'm going to throw Yumi into this alluring seductress. All right. And I'm going to sell my artwork for now three gold because of my greedy merchant. Mm -hmm. Playing my Yumi again, uh, activating her inspiration, scoring three points, making an artwork token. Yep. Well, yeah, and I'll pass my turn. Great play. Yeah, I don't, that does mean I don't next turn, about. if 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 things get back around to me, I do have a nearly yeah. guaranteed win. Yes, uh, that's precisely yeah. why I'm saying if so, you can't end I mean, it, if someone hypothetically had a termination notice, they could get rid of that. Yeah. So I start a game. I go for the turn. I face counter on this history education. Let's try and dig our my way out of this. Draw one card, and that's my free draw. I will use Just... history education to draw one more. Here comes it is still possible road. for Mufari to win. So yeah. I will abandon this without choosing an imprint to draw an abandoned draw. Well, none of those are combo pieces, so... So my play is going to be Erase Memories on Obnoxious Name Caller. Oh, Fair enough. okay. Uh, and, and pass the turn. Uh, I get my gold, move my phase forward into their phase twos, and then I use one gold for my restraining order. And then I use Restraining Order to banish the Greedy Merchant on Kim's okay. side of the field. So, gotta put that in active. And I have a free draw. 
and draws from history education. So I will draw two cards, play Kazin, mm -hmm. and with my refuse defeat second phase, I give Yumi the avid painter. So at least Wait. Kim can't remove it and get the free denizen, unlocking inspiration. Yes. I give Yumi the avid painter, and then I resolve fuse defeat. So I'm down to three. Now I am going to play Demoralize, and I am going to use Supportive Friends to pop the slave cells, mm -hmm. which reduces it to zero and produces two runaway slaves. I use Kazen Swift to destroy Kim's artwork. Okay. I should dismiss I should dismiss Nick's invasive fungus so that he has that as a thing that he can use again for his turn. Yeah, Cunning Tragedist will dismiss Invasive Fungus. And uh, I sell my Chromatic Ring yeah. for yeah. one gold. And I use said gold to activate my Supporter Friends' special ability to give myself two extra points when I score. Right. Uh, I will use Cunning Tragedist to attack Supporter Friends, and I will use All Mauricio right. to attack uh, Ava. Uh, I activate Kazen's Aggression. Score points equal to the number of attacks I've made this turn, then produce a runaway slave token if I've scored three or more points this way. And I have, so I get to produce a runaway slave token. We we'll go up to 13. So now I have even more ammunition. Okay, Kim. So get my goal for turn, draw a card. So I'll play this card. Um, I will play Blacklist. Looking at each wow. hand again. Okay, so I'm going to name uh, Outmaneuver with this. So I'll play Zealous Protester. So that unlocks inspiration. So now I'm going to go ahead and fetch uh, an item out of my deck using Master Craftsman. Oh boy. Uh, I'm going to fetch another blacklist. And then I'm going to play that blacklist again. Um, all right, and then I will choose Displace with this one. Like who has two blacklists in this situation or scenario? That's already crazy. All right, so now I will go ahead and activate this uh, and then abandon it to get one more draw. Okay, so I will use Craftsman's Apprentice Routine Ability to revamp the blacklist that's naming Outmaneuver, just to make it a little bit harder to remove. Uh, and then I'm going to attack the Craftsman into just something that has one power. Uh, I'm going to attack this into this to get rid of one of your slaves. I will take one damage in return. Okay. All right, then I'll play another Obstructive Roadblock. It doesn't really matter, but I will lock down your this thing again, George. Okay. Yep. Locked further down. Locked further down. Um, all right. So yeah, that's it for me. I'll end my turn. I'll score four points off the Master Craftsman. Uh, I'll lose my gold that I didn't spend. And I'll pass it over to you, Kim. Mm -hmm. I'll gain my gold and my counters. I'm going to draw my free card for the turn. I'm going to draw two cards from Remove Distraction. Discard a card from Remove Distractions. Then I'm going to use my decorated path and abandon it mm -hmm. to draw a card. Uh, and I have game here with Black Mora Powder, Termination Notice, History Education, and uh, I can activate Yumi to gain three points. Two points, but still enough. Or two points, two points, sorry, yeah. All right, GG. Woo! Good job. GG. All right, GG so George. You still had this game if you had used your termination notice on the remove distractions. I so didn't. Instead of playing um, three gold into this, you should have spent three gold into termination notice. Then you would have won the game. Kim only having two cards in hand, and it clearly going over to your turn. That uh, this was this was definitely your game. Uh. uh yeah. The so win was definitely on board for you if you had just saw that line. And so, yeah, congratulations, Kim. Fantastic win. Yeah, I, I, I'm actually really liking the Yumi. I might, I might run her some more. Yeah, I think you made That was really, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, it was, it was cool seeing her win. Ah. I'm sorry, everybody. I didn't mean to be so disappointing. What I, my mental stack was pretty overridden there. I couldn't see uh, the through line for how best to win for myself. No, I guess it's all it's just good, a man. Of getting better. Um, 
yeah, it was at the point of the game where there was a lot of stuff to consider. It's not the easiest thing in the world to see that Kim's one out was the, the card draw, right? So, mm -hmm. and you had the one thing to deal with it. Um, there was a lot of things to consider that game. So, no shade on you, George. But, you know, just keep that in the back of your mind. There's always a slightly more optimal play that you can take. And sometimes it's just a, it's just a difference of one single card play difference. And it's a difference mm -hmm. between a, a win and a loss. Yeah. 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 All right, that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave comments to help us improve or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Please join us next time for another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. Bye-bye for now.